YouTubers out there, how are you doing? I'm doing alright. I just want to um, talk to you guys about something um, ab about commenting on my chat on my channel. Um, I've blocked one person um, from commenting on my channel, but I'm not too sure. I think people can still see him commenting on the channel. I can't see anything he writes on the channel. It comes up for a second and then um, it, I don't know, it disappears. Um, so on the vlog, on my last vlog where, it, um, which one was it? Let's talk about Kleinfeld syndrome. Uh, it says there's seven comments on there, but I don't see any comments on that at all. I don't see any. It's there's no comments in the, in the section even though it says there's seven comments, but I think it's because the person um, The person that commented about um, The person that um, um, Oh my god, I don't want to play this um, I'm, I'm still loading um, the person in question, OBZX11, um, is still bullying me. Um, and he made another account called Matthew Rose Warm. With an M. Just, and, and um, posted on there saying something like, uh, I can't remember exactly what he said because I can't read it, I can't see it there. Um, so it was something like, Along the lines of, I'm Matt Rosewarm, I'm, and I, or my name's Matt, and I want subscribers, or something like that, or something along those lines. And, that's not me, guys. That is someone else, um, trying to copy my name, and, um, yeah, uh, being a dick, um, so, uh, ignore, if you can see that comment, ignore it, um, don't reply to that comment, because I, if you reply to that comment, I cannot see your comments, um, so, for instance, um, so, I, I know who you are, because you spelt embarrass the same way you spelt it one other time, and I re corrected you on how to spell embarrass, and you still didn't, you still, you still didn't learn. So, um, so I know it was you, uh, OBZX11, so he also commented on his own comment, but as OBX, OBZX11, uh, which is, dude, get a fucking life, man. Um, so, jeez, like, why? Like, you're going, you're going out of your way to comment on a video that I don't even see. Like, I don't even see the comments. And people, you need to not reply to him. It's just making his ego go even higher. Going, oh, I, they're actually commenting on my one. Oh, wow. It's like, no. Okay, guys, I, I want you to stop, um, just ignore OBZX11, um, if he comments on my channel. I can't see anything he writes on my channel, and if you reply to his comment, like, reply on to his thread on the comment, I cannot see your comments either. So, please, if you've commented, um, on OBZX11's comments, please copy and paste your comments that you did say to him and just put it as a normal um, out of public comment onto the channel um, just so I can see what you guys are saying um, I know a few of you are sticking up for me but I can't see you guys doing that so um, yeah so that's that um, this is being recorded on Sunday. I just had to get this off my chest, um, but uh, I will I will be doing some more vlog for this vlog on Tuesday. 
so this will be the Tuesday vlog. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I um sorry I've got food stuck in my teeth. Ah, it's crunching. It's good, but it was good food. Oh man, I had such good dinner tonight. Roast roast beef, roast beef and um um roast veg. That was really good. Um. So oh, so um last night um when I was at the at the at the pub um I was at the bar and um the girl that was serving serving me um she was watching the band so she didn't realize that I was there so I went to go tap her on the shoulder to let her know I was there at the bar and all of a sudden I got this cramp in my calf muscle and seriously, I had to lie down, like, I didn't lie down, but I had to sit on the floor to, you know, bring my foot back to, you know, get the cramp out. Um, and she's like, she's like over the counter going, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, 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 over the bar. Like, are you okay? Do you want some ice or whatever? She's pretty, she was really sweet. Um, but, oh, it was just so painful. And then I kind of, it kind of went away, but it was still there. It was like, just like a little bit sore. And then I limped away and I got my beer limped away. Um, but the, the fucked up thing was, um, I had to walk home that night and I had to walk home in pain with, uh, my cramp. Um, it went away, it went away a little bit. But when I got home, oh my god, all I wanted to do was just sit and do nothing. Um, but I woke up this morning and my legs, oh my god, I couldn't even move. Uh, like, I, they feel so stiff and sore. You know, I, I remember this one time some guy on my YouTube channel goes, Oh, you need to come and work out with me. And I said, no dude. One, one day of, one night of just walking around back and forward from um back and forth from the from the pub and today i can hardly walk like it, it i am struggling getting up my staircase because it's just i'm so much pain and i just don't understand why doctors don't give me any pain medicine just something to take the edge off because oh my god the pain is just unbelievable and don't tell me, oh, the testosterone will help that pain. No, it won't. It hasn't, and it hasn't. It do hasn't. The testosterone doesn't do shit for my pain. So, and the doctors say that too. They're like, oh, if you keep taking your testosterone, you won't feel that pain. Yeah, uh, after a month, you know, I still felt the pain. Uh, after two months, I still felt the pain. After three months, I still felt the pain. Yeah, so, like, the fuck? <laughs> um, I, is there, is there something for osteopenia? Like, like, there is no, me I don't think there's any medication for osteopenia. Unless it's just pain meds to just control the pain. To let, let, you know, I'm always in pain. I'm constantly in fucking pain. Um, and I have to walk through that pain. Sometimes I just want to fucking cry because it's so painful. But, nah, I'm not getting any fucking help for it. And it's getting to the point where I'm just going to go to my doctor and go, Pain meds now. Like, fuck's sake, just give me pain meds. I. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to hear the mumbo jumbo of oh, but it'll give you you know cancer, blood. Oh, what's it? Liver cancer. Uh, like, uh, you know, it'll destroy your liver. You know, uh, all this shit. And it's like, look, yeah, okay, I understand that it may may uh, painkillers may um destroy my liver 
but it's not like I'm going to be popping them every fucking hour, you know, it's just, it, I probably maybe do, um, one before I go to bed, and one when I wake up in the morning, just, or two when I wake up in the morning, that's probably what it would be like, one at night so I can sleep better, and two in the morning so I can lit, go through the day with just a little bit of pain, and not all this pain that I'm feeling right now, I feel like an old man, actually they were talking about it last night, um, and there was, there was a guy there with, um, um, with a walking, um, frame, um, but, uh, we, and I didn't even, I didn't even realise that, um, we were talking about that, and I saw him in the club last night, I hope, I hope he got home safe, you know, he's alright, um, but, you know, fucking, that, we, we were, we were talking about it because, we were, we were older than some of the people that were there, and because, like, a lot of us are older than a lot of the kids that go to the, go to the club, like, um, Latham's group, um, most of that, most of the band is, like, in their 20, like, like early 20s, um, Leland, Leland is 25, you know, and the lead singer is 24, so, um, you know, they're, they're all around about the same age, um, and then you got, um, uh, Spindrift Saga, which, uh, uh, Danny's 36, um, uh, I think Mix 35 and, and, or 35 or 30, turning 36 as well, and, um, Chris is the same age as me at 30, 33 turning 34, and, um, there's a massive, there's a massive age gap between, uh, the, uh, Ma, uh, Lathan's grip and, and, um, and, um, uh, oh, God, I can't think, um, Spindrift Saga, 10 years, almost 10, 10, 11 years, 12 years, um, and, but their music is so great, you know, both of them are great, uh, both the bands are great, and then, uh, Al, 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 Altian, Altian Childs, I think I said his name wrong, yeah, um, he, um, oh, they're, I, they're around about the same age as us as well, I think, yeah, he, he's not, he's not much, he's not, he could be even younger than, uh, no, uh, I don't know, I have no idea, I actually, I should, I should Google that, how old is, uh, I'll, I'll Google that, because it will be, there, someone, so how old is, Yeah. Oh, he's 40. Rightio, he doesn't look 40. He kind of looks a little bit like, um, Jameer Kwai. <laughs> he does. That's weird. Jameer Kwai. Jameer Kwai. Jameer Kwai. Jameer Kwai. Whatever his name is. <laughs> How do you say his name? So yeah, I think his band members are about the same age, maybe in their late thirties. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I will keep. I'll I'll uh, do another fifteen minute um, vlog on Tuesday, um, and to add to this, so I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hey guys and welcome to Tuesday, uh, it is now time for the weekly vlog, and uh, well, James and I um, last night played some uh, Minecraft, and uh, Minecraft will be up in March for the gaming channel, so, um, well, for the, not the gaming channel, for the channel, for the Friday gaming, so um, that's been pre-recorded because, as you know, I'm not going to be here in March. So it's all gonna, <clears throat> all the gaming is gonna be um, pre-recorded. Uh, there won't be any shout-outs in March. Um, I won't be here to be. Able, I won't be here to do it. Um, 
there won't be a challenge in March either and um, there may be a gig guide I'm not too sure uh, the gig guide has to come out at the end of February <clears throat> for us to be able to um, Well, for me to be able to put it up on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah. So, stay stay tuned. Uh, I will try and get some video content up for you guys. It won't be much. Um, like I said, it would probably be only for the Friday gaming. Um, as for March, it's just going to be a slow month because I won't have any internet where I'm going to be staying. Um, I might have a bit of phone internet, but that's about it, like, you know, data or whatever, but I won't be able to use much data on that anyway for uploading or anything like that. And uploading from the phone anyway sucks. <laughs> Even like a second, one second video, it's like so shit. Anyway, so, um, we also watched a movie last night, which was freaking awesome. The Last Witch Hunter um, with Vin Diesel. That was an awesome movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check that movie out. That was sick. Um, uh, what else is happening this week? What is happening this week? What's coming out on gaming this week? Oh. Oh. Um. Oh, what is coming out on Friday? Wait, do I get paid on Wednesday or the next Wednesday after that? Hmm. It'll have to be. Yeah, it's gonna have to be. Um, the game gaming this week will have to be. Um. Or oh, I've already done it. I don't know. I'm all confused. <laughs> oh, it will be Dying Light. That's right. Because it comes out... I think it comes out today. The DLC. the DLC for Dying Light, yeah. So, um... After that movie's finished, I have to check the PlayStation. Actually, can you turn it on for me? Just press the PS button. It should be there on the... Yeah. Hopefully it starts up the update. If it's if it's there. Oh man. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much the week um, ahead. Unless there's something... That, unless there's something on the weekend for on the gig guide or whatever let's check out the gig guide and see what is happening this weekend what is the date for um, the 12th to the 14th all right um at soldiers club it's rocking all over 12th and 13th um, at JJ's on the 14th is Rich, um, at Mogo Goldfields Diggers Rest on the 14th, is that this weekend? Yeah, it is. It's Sacred Cow Duo, which is cool, and the third's... It's the third Sunday. Wait, this is the second Sunday, right? Dude, do you even want to go to my game? <laughs> yeah. It's on the third Sunday. Yeah, I know, but the... The old folk didn't really like it. Oh. No, I know, but... I don't know. I, I, I wasn't impressed by the audience last week, last time, saying what we should play. 
It's like, no. Look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I, 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 I was even having this argument with a friend of mine the other day. Um, you should play what the audience likes. No. Oh, every audience is different. I know, right? But, he, I then said, if I played what the audience liked, I wouldn't like playing. Because I like to play my own stuff. But I mean my my own genre of stuff because I that's the that's what I'm passionate about. I don't want to play. Oh, you yeah, exactly. I don't want to be playing like fucking Johnny Cash or fucking <laughs> Ring of Fire, Ring of Fire. I don't want to be playing that shit. No, no, no. I know, but like. If there was a Johnny Cash song I would like to play, it'd be Rusty Cage. I love that song. That's an awesome song. Only because Metallica do it too. You know, I, I like those. I like. I think they do Rusty Cage. I think I've heard Metallica do Rusty Cage. Or was it someone else who did it? Some other rock band. Oh, I don't know who did. I can't remember who did. It could have been Metallica, who done Rusty Cage. But um. Metallica have taken so many, like, old songs and put a metal taste to them, like a metal you know, a, a, even a melody metal taste to them, and they are fucking turned out brilliant. Um, but, but, um, I just, I just, I don't want to, like, someone, some, uh, blues, I, Okay, this is the thing, right? I'm a rhythm guitarist, right? I'm not a lead guitarist. A lot of a lot of blues is because of lead. A lot of blues has lead, and like he would do lead as good blues. Like if we could make a blue, but I I, can, I, ha, I know twelve bar blues. If he can just like do some lead with me playing rhythm on twelve bar blues, that'd be cool. But People go, oh, you should play this blues song. I'm a rhythm guitarist, not a lead guitarist. I can't play that song that you're telling me to play. You know? And then they, like, get all uh, upset because, you know, I'm not going to play their song. It's like, no. I'm going to play what I'm comfortable in playing. So... Yeah, it's just annoying that people are like that. And it, they can't be more accepting of the music that we play, even though like we do enjoy playing it, but it, at some points we do make mistakes and they say, Oh, it just didn't sound good, you were off and it's like make mistake, we're not perfect. Yeah, I know, exactly. But also he was the 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 guy in question who came up to me was and, and was like fucking like not happy. He was like, oh, I hate that fucking teenage music. I was like, how old do you fucking think I am, bro? 33. And he's like, oh, I don't know, young. I'm like, well, you'd be wrong. <laughs> I'm 33 years old. Um, uh, so, you know, you might be in your 60s or 70s or whatever, so you're about 30 years older than me. But still, I'm gonna love metal till I die. Yeah, no, I love metal. I love metal, and but the thing is, he was like, he, but it was like, you're playing all that teenage crap. Hey, Metallica were '80s, mate. Yeah. That's not teenage crap anymore. Well, it was back in the '80s when we were in the '80s. But now we're in the 2015s, or no, 16s. We're in 2016. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Think about that, that's 36 years ago. 80. 80? Yeah, 80s. Yeah. 36 years ago. Wow. And what, he would have been in his 30s? Mm. He would have been in his 30s, right? So, apparently he didn't like Metallica. No, he's just a shit cunt. 
Uh, I just don't understand people sometimes. They just. I originally didn't like Metallica because I didn't think they were heavy. I was into heavy, heavy metal. Yeah. I didn't think they were heavy enough. Oh, it they wasn't were. Until yeah. I actually listened to the music that I before I liked it. So like these people who say they don't like it, they don't actually listen. They just hear a noise. They don't actually. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love Metallica because Metallica, uh, they're proper musicians, like, they're, they've been taught by, like, classical people, like, he's a classical singer, and, and he's a classical guitarist. And they can do, no, they, they, they can mix it up, they can do classical, like, with their... No, 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 but I'm, what I'm saying, he was, he was, he was taught... Classical music, and they were all caught taught classical music. That's why they have that class, um, the symphony behind them sometimes. And they were like, "Hey, make a metal band." Yeah, yeah, that was sick, man. But um, Lars wasn't the first drummer, because the first drummer died in the bus accident. Um, fell out of the top bunk when the 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 bus was on tour. Did you ever hear about how he died? bus was on tour, they were all asleep, the bus tipped over, and, um, he was, he, I think he, like, uh, something about, uh, went through the window and, and, uh, fell, fell out, yeah, so, that's a pretty fucking tragic way to go, um, I think something happened, something similar to the drummer of Def, Le Def Leppard when he lost his arm, um, something similar happened. But, um, but he still kept on playing drums. <laughs> Sick cunt. Yeah, Def Leppard was slower, isn't he? Because he's more versatile than one hand. Nah, he still can drum, like, pretty fucking hectic. Because I think he uses his other, he uses his leg. Oh, as a, as a... Yeah. So he's got other drums set up on the table. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Cool. Oh, we'll have to look it up. Maybe not, because, um, yeah, because, then he have because, um, the dude from, um, the dude, the guy that, from the Spindrift Saga, Danny, he can double kick with his one leg. It sounds awesome. Alright, we're gonna have. You have to do a really good loop, that, though. Oh, a really good loop? Yeah. Right, I can, um. I'll just do the chords that you can play. I'll just do a D, an A, a B, and an G. And I'll put that on repeat. And basically, that's fucking every song. Alright. Every, that's every do pop song. And then you just solo the shit. Ouch! Turn your earphones. Alright, so we're gonna leave you guys. Actually. You know what to do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I'll subscribe back to you. Comment down below and I'll give you a shout out in the next Monday vlog, um, if you're lucky. Uh, what? It's plugged in. Oh. Um. Oh, we're gonna leave you with this one last one song. He bought himself a loop pedal with um, lots, of lots of effects and stuff. Go over there. No, there, there, there. And move the thing over so they can say y'all. All right.
Well, guys, there was some uh, lead guitar from James. James Paxton. Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll see you guys uh, on Thursday for the next weekly vlog. Letting you guys know what's happening coming up closer to the weekend. And also, just, just one other thing. Don't forget to get your CD. Bad Normous CD from the Spindrift Saga. So... Don't forget to go and get your CD now. Out now. Bad Normous. Spin your saga.